hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to create class and object in object oriented tcl programming uh, this is important because in ns2 sometimes we have to extend the tcl code so in order to do that we need to understand class concept in otcl so how to create a class creating class is very simple in otcl just write class and name of the class. Let's save this program and run it. So uh, the thing is that we have just created a class, and next we are uh, create. Uh, we will create a object of this class. So how to do that? Just use the name of this newly created class, and let's say Ob1. So in this line we have created a class. In this line we have created a object now how to assign some attribute to this object so use the object name and set and what attribute you want to set so let's say name so let's say Raj another attribute you want to set let's say roll number and one more attribute set city Dell. So we have created a one object and we have associated three attributes with this object. Now the question is that how we are going to access these value. So what I am going to do, I am going to fetch this value. So how to do that? Object name, set command, attribute name. As I have already told you in the previous tutorial that when we use set command without any value, so in that case this command is used to pass the value of this variable so let me print other value as well set row set city so it's working perfectly now the thing is that uh, we have seen how to create a class now let's say I want to define a function for this class so how to do that class name instruct is there any argument if yes specify that argument if no leave it blank and here the first line you need to write self so it's uh, it means that the object who is calling this procedure it that will be referenced by self then inst where so it means what are the variable associated with that object so here you can write let's say name role and city and here I'm going to print all these so let's say name dollar name and uh, role number dollar Role and P uh, U T S City Dollar City. So let's call this function. So how to call this function? We need just need to ob one, and uh, we actually forgot to give a name here. So I am using a name show. So object name and function name. That's it run this code so there are some problem let me see the student that should be student so this line is saying that in line number 10 so student instruct show Give it instruments. No, there's a problem. Student instruct. So, this is our code. Okay, so as you can see here, it's printing two lines, but there's a problem in the third one. Okay, what is that? Okay, sorry, I actually use wrong command 
so now it's working perfectly so we have created a class we have defined a function for this class and we have created an object and we have associated some attribute and we are calling the function for this object so in the next one i will show you how to define a constructor thank you very much for watching